Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making No Bank Unicorn Cookies. Now, if that sounds a little bit weird to you, this is actually one of the older recipes from my website. Maybe four or five or even six years ago, all things unicorn was super popular in the recipe and food world. You had unicorn frappuccinos, unicorn ice cream. I'm pretty sure there's also unicorn cheesecake. So my twist on it was No Bank Cookies and they need just three ingredients. They're healthier than traditional cookies, there's no baking required, so let's get into the ingredients and take a look. Let's talk ingredients. For the unicorn cookies, you need smooth cashew butter, maple syrup and coconut flour. Oh, and let's not forget the sprinkles. Always use smooth and drippy cashew butter with no added sugar or salt to it. you notice in the recipe photos that the cookies look super white, but that comes down to some crazy editing. If you'd like to have that really white color, I recommend using the Aldi brand of cashew butter, which I will link to below. I have no idea how they've managed to make it super white, but hey, <laughs> it works. If you'd like this recipe to be sugar-free and or low carb, use sugar-free maple syrup. I will, again, link to my homemade recipe in the description, which is much more affordable and just as delicious. Finally, the coconut flour speaks for itself. It holds the cookies together and also gives it a deliciously soft texture. If you don't want to use coconut flour, this will work with oat flour or almond flour. However, you'll need to double the amount because coconut flour, it's super absorbent. Oh, and I didn't film the sprinkles, but use those if you have them on hand. Let's make cookies. So you start with the coconut flour, add it to a mixing bowl and make sure there are no clumps, then the maple syrup, which adds the sweetness. Finally, you add the creamy cashew butter, and I forgot to mention before, but any nut or seed butter works. Peanut, almond, sunflower seed butter, and then the rainbow sprinkles. If you do use rainbow sprinkles, use rainbow jimmies because they will not bleed into the dough. Roll them into balls, flatten them out, and use a fork to cross both sides. This gives it the perfect cookie shape. Now, as I mentioned, you can keep this completely low carb and refined sugar-free by skipping the sprinkles. You follow the exact same process, and I promise you, they'll taste just as good. Ready in minutes, you have no excuses not to make them.